Today, we are talking about manifesting anything you want for you or others in four minutes or less. This is a very powerful level guarded technique that we are going to discuss, but I am also going to share a success story of mine. It's SP stuff, but you can use this technique for anything. And that's what we are going to talk about today. But before I get into it, hello everyone, if you're new here. My name is Al, welcome to my channel. And right now, let's get into today's topic. Today's video is going to be important, okay? Whenever I make these videos, I want you to think about the message and apply it to your life. So take whatever resonates with you and put it to practice. And in this video, uh, we are talking about a lesson that Neville gave about gratitude, uh, the importance of the feeling of joy and thanksgiving. And in this lesson, he talked about the steps that you need to achieve the feeling that is done. And the more you practice it, the faster you're going to achieve it. For me, uh, right now, I am so good at it that I can feel the feeling that is done within four to five minutes. But take your time, put it to practice, and you are going to achieve the same results. You are going to get where you want to be, even if it takes a bit longer, okay? So the first step is about relaxation. It's about freeing your mind. If you are not very familiar or you haven't achieved the state called God mode or God state, don't focus on it. I have a trick for you and it is to feel and fall into the state of love. It's as powerful as God state, okay? Just feel the love for everything around you, for everything that you have, for everything that is happening for you. And out of that state, you do everything that you are going to um, do to manifest your desire. Any techniques. The second step is to imagine a scene that implies the fulfillment of your desire, whether for you or others. If it's about someone else, they see them as the person that they want to be. Feel that love. I love seeing them being this way. I love seeing them being healthy. I love seeing them thriving. I love seeing them having their best lives. If it's something that you desire, you see them acting the way that you want them to act towards you. And you feel the love and you feel the joy that this is happening. And there is a trick here that I would like to talk to you guys. I don't think I ever shared this. So whenever I imagine something someone acting differently towards me, someone um, being exactly the way that I desire them to be, I turn this around. I, I don't make this about myself, but about them. So if, I, if that was an SP, I would be like, they love treating me this way. They love choosing me. They love um, committing to me. They love being around me. So it's not like I'm forcing anyone to do anything. They want to do it. They enjoy doing it. And I am the one with my old assumptions and old stories, keeping them in an undesirable state for themselves. So when you turn this around, it feels better. It feels lighter. So you're, if you are manifesting a, a pay raise, it could be like my, my boss, loves that I work there, my boss loves my job and my boss wants to give me that raise. So just a little trick to make this technique more powerful, okay? In the third step, you feel the joy, the gratefulness of this happening right now, of them being so uh, willing to give you what you want. You're grateful for what's happening. And in that moment, when you loop your scene, at some point, you should notice a build up in emotion. So some sort of emotional or energetic discharge, something happens 
that you cannot repeat so you don't feel that emotion again you probably you we're not going to feel with the same scene the same emotion okay but when that happens you know it's done it's a product of your identification with that scene so after that feeling you detach you go about your day not wondering about what you have imagined about you're not feeding lack by thinking should i do this or that because you don't have to earn your manifestation you just go about your day as if it was done because it is okay it never compared this to impregnation he asked the question what can you do after being pregnant nothing you leave it alone you allow the seed to grow and that's the same idea here you allow your manifestation to unfold. So I do have a success story to share with you guys. I know that I mentioned it in one of the videos, but I never talked through it. Um, it happened with a boyfriend and I literally changed him and how he was behaving within four to five minutes, not even. I think it took less time. But um, basically what was happening is in that time that I know that there were things happening, felt like a testing and somehow that reflect on him and the way that he was treating me, the text that he was sending me at the time. So when I noticed that something within me was getting annoyed, and frustrated because he was being really nasty towards me i was like listen there's nothing to this is nothing to do with the air it's about him and his work everything's going to be okay so i went within and what did i do i healed him in my imagination by telling myself he loves treating me nicely he loves being loving towards me he loves what we have in this relationship he loves treating me this and this way so i imagine my sp being the person that i wanted him to be balanced centered loving caring there for me giving me attention positive one and within four to five minutes i don't even think it took that much but let's go with this um without even expect it because i was not manifesting another text okay in that situation i was not focusing on it i was focusing on him being the person that i believe he loves being and within that time he sent me a text he was like i'm so sorry baby there are so many things happening here at work and they lashed out on you and i'm really sorry you don't deserve it i'm going to make it up for you i love a quote of neville that i'm going to share with you guys because it shows exactly what it is people change when you change your conception of them when you change your conception of yourself it's not that they are that way and they love being nasty and they love treating you a certain way and they love saying no to you it's what you're expecting them to be and what you think you deserve. So the quote from Neville is exactly this. The world and all within it are states of consciousness objectified. Your world is defined by your conception of yourself plus your conceptions of others, which are not their conception of themselves. So in a state of love, in a state of relaxation, Bring onto your mind the scene that reflects the end that you desire to see. Feel grateful that they love doing that, that they love being that, that they love having that life. See them healed, see them whole, and see them doing exactly what they want to do. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here and we are going to talk soon. Bye-bye.